And let's go, let's go to our defensive line now with Ch big Chidozi Wonkwo. Big yeah. number 97. Saw him have a sack last uh last game. Uh been pretty dominant in playing, but um he was seen in a sling at practice. Uh from word that I have, he has a um, AC joint injury. That's something I can speak on. Another thing I can speak on because I've had that injury. And you can yeah. I honestly I can still feel it in some instances uh to this day, you know, but it's something that will heal, but it was something, probably something that Chidozi, unfortunately, will play with at least for for the season until like a bye week and then another rest week. It'll probably take a couple of weeks of doing absolutely nothing to just let that thing heal, in my opinion, from, from my experience. And with him being a guy who's going to have to need his shoulder strength to take on those blocks in the middle, mm -hmm. uh, I think it's going to be very important for him to get rest before we get, uh, you know, really to Baylor or to the, to into the uh, conference play. So yeah, and, and he's one to step up. Yeah, you're right, and he's played really well the first two weeks, and he's the guy that I would go into this week. Maybe um, I know who knows if he plays. I mean, Coach Prime was hopeful. Um, even if yeah. they feel like he's somewhat ready, I would maybe not start him and see if you need him. You know, and, I wouldn't play him though. I wouldn't play him right. at all, Brian. You know, I agree. Yeah, like I agree. I said, but, because of the injury, yeah. but also because of you're playing not to cut you off, but you're playing a quote unquote lesser opponent, yeah. and you have a, a, a as Coach Sapp said, a bunch of defensive tackles behind him, so that depth is there, and you have guys that you want to see. You know what what you have in them. Although we yeah. saw Anquan Barnes last game, but he had two penalties. He's going to have to, you know, rectify that next yeah. game. We need to see Ryan Buell step up. So here's a per perfect opportunity in my eyes um, for them to do that versus Colorado State. Yeah, I agree with you. And uh, that was kind of my point is that, yes, I, I would – I guess I would – if he's somewhat healthy, I would put Chidozi in uniform just in case mm -hmm. it starts looking bad. And maybe you can put him in there. But I agree with you. <laughs> you go in there with that thought of – we don't want to play him, and maybe it's just you're out. To, you're out this week, and we're going to trust our guys. And uh, but yeah. I agree with you that maybe a week off uh, for him um, is a good thing. And uh, bottom line is, you need Shadozi against the Big Twelve more than you need him this week. I think. Yes, and that's what I'm saying. Definitely, you're going to definitely need him there, and you don't need you know a, a lower percentage of it when you can have him close to a hundred percent as possible. Yeah. Uh, another guy on that defense. Uh, leader back there, Shallow Sanders, of course, he's out. Coach Prime said because of he has the hands of God on him and he can <laughs> heal like uh, I think someone said, uh, uh, Tully Carr said, heal like Wolverine. Uh, he shouldn't be out, he should be out expected probably two to three weeks rather than uh, a three to four week, so to speak. Uh, Shallow with a forearm break, um, played with it a couple plays afterwards. But as he said, you try to hold your hand up, and it feels like you have no control over your over your hand. It feels like somebody else's hand is on you. Um, <laughs> talking about the guys who are going to fill in for him, uh, depth chart was released with Carter Stockmeyer back there at, at the free safety spot with Cameron Sim and Craig. Um, he played well last week, sixty one point one. What it was sixty one point six on the PFF graded out as didn't give up any uh, receiving yards. Carter Stockmeyer back at free safety. How do you think the defense will look with him back there? Yeah, well, first off, if Shiloh truly has the hand of God, uh, they need to pray and say, hey, how about don't get me injured first? Uh, I like this <laughs> healing stuff, but let's not be injured. But, uh, you know, I will say this, and this is not a knock on, on Shiloh Sanders. This is more a compliment on Carter Stoutmeyer. I did not think there was a drop-off when Carter Stoutmeyer got in there. Um, I was impressed with the way he played, and, um, you know, it speaks to the depth we've talked about that they have back there. We saw Savion Riley come in for, for Stillman Craig in week one and play really well. We saw Carter Stoutmeyer get in there last week and play really well. And so you're looking at it now, you're two weeks in, you're like, wow, they've got four pretty good safeties that we know of uh, right there. And so you feel pretty good about that. And so I think, I think that's something we talked yeah. about, Brian. We talked about yes. the depth mm -hmm. back, that they have back there at the safety spot. And, and we're, a but, couple of guys, I was gonna say we could go yeah. even deeper with uh with uh Herman Smith the third Herman Smith back yep. there also. So yeah, we we talked about it and it's showing itself early, and it's unfortunate that it's had to show itself so much. Uh, but you know, we now look at it, we can see it. And so um yeah. you, you want Shiloh back. He's an emotional leader, he's a hard hitter back there, but I think they're in good hands with Carter Stoutmeyer because uh, based on what I saw the other night, 
Um, Carter's a legit player, and, and we saw it some of last year too. Um, I'm a big Carter Satmeyer fan. I think he's just a really good football player, and uh, if he plays uh, in Shiloh's stead the way he played last Saturday, I'll take it. Excuse me. I think so also. I think he could be a, a standout player when given the opportunity, and he's going to make some noise with this time, and when Shiloh comes back, uh, it's going to be interesting to see how Coach Rob Livingston uses all three of his safeties now with Shiloh, Cameron, and Simon Craig, and, yeah. um, and even say, shit, all five of them, Savion, nice. Herman, <laughs> and uh, and uh, my guy. So let's go here real quick. Uh, and also, uh, you know, hey, th today Andre Hart said, uh, he was talking about uh, Trevor Woods, and he said Trevor Woods is uh, you know, a starter for us in our dime package right. because, of, because of coverage, and so – that's more or less like another safety on the field, right? We know Trevor, that's yes. what he, he's always played. Um, so yeah. uh, Trevor is one of those things, if you get in a pinch, you can put Trevor back at safety as well uh, right. because you've got guys like Nakai Hill Green stepping up. But um, there's that, there's another option there as well. But that I like that. I like the fact that they're using Trevor in yeah. the dime packages at the linebacker spot. Mm -hmm. Now you just have more coverage guys out there. A lot of people say, well, he didn't cover the running back out of the backfield the first game. It happens, though. You're going to yeah. get beat sometimes. And let's just – I'll say this. I, I will bet money that you don't see a play like that happen again against Trevor Woods. And I'll bet money that Trevor Woods plays 10 times better than what we've seen him play. He's going to make some, some timely – uh, turnovers again this year, like we've seen in the past. Also, it's just been his mo the thing that he brings, you yeah. know, to make those plays. As long um, as he tackles properly, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think it'll be fine tackling. I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be fine. I think that Zion yeah. package though is gonna gonna um, you know be great for him to shine in yeah. and uh, Levante Bentley in the run situations along with Nakai Hill Green playing yeah. both. Uh, I'm excited to see both of them play. On the field together, uh, Nakai Hill Green and Levante Bentley. Uh, Bentley been nursing uh, what's been said has been a turf toe injury, but he's still been out there, like Coach Hart said, fighting to be on the field like a middle linebacker does, but needs to take care of his body. Turf toe is yeah. something that you don't want to play with. Uh, get rest on that also. Elevate your foot, put ice on it, do what you got to do to get that treatment. Um, you know, take care of yourself so you can be full speed for the game. Uh, yeah. Rocky Mountain Showdown going down. Uh, at Colorado State, uh, we're going to get predictions at the end of this before we go. Uh, Coach Prime uh, fired back on the false uh, allegations that he said don't play the, the 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 fight song and all this stuff. I don't even you can address that if you want to, but he said what he said on that. I felt like that was bogus from the time I read it. Why? Would, come on, dog. That make you make the ugly face. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> so, and, yeah, look, yeah. It, it's amazing how many of these types of stories just get blown up nationally uh, with this program, right? But it is right. true that when Shador threw those touchdown passes against North Dakota State, his song, Perfect Timing, would be played. And then after the extra yeah. point, they, they would play the fight song. So it is yeah. true that they that they I, mixed it, up I, tradition. Well, I was there, and I thought it was dope. I thought it was yeah. like – I said on camera, what other player has his own song playing right. as a touchdown song, as right. a touchdown celebration? <laughs> yes, we want to hear the fight song too. Yeah, but if there was a way that to get Shadur, I don't know who made the call. I doubt if Coach Prime even spent time, as he said, to to you know coordinate that. Come on, man. That's for the people in the box and who over that stuff to take care yeah. of how it's done, when it's done, or whatever. I feel like it was done great. Uh, perfectly executed perfectly as I was there. And um, I, I, I'm looking forward to seeing it again and right. hearing it again. I, and I, somebody else made a point. I can't remember who, but I saw this and I agree with it. I bet it was something over the summer that was just in a meeting. Coach Prime maybe said something like, oh, wouldn't that be cool if they did this? And then people I, ran with it. I don't know. I can't he, imagine. He, I just can't but, imagine Coach Prime saying, this is what we are going to do. Do not play that other song. No, no, I doubt, I doubt that. I, I yeah, can't imagine that. that. So it just it, it wouldn't make sense. Like no, why? So um, that's I don't too much think, time to spend on that. Like, <laughs> like it's, right, it's that's a what cool I'm saying. Thing. I don't even yeah. think they could have predicted that it would go like yeah. it. I, I mm -hmm. like I said, I thought it went perfect on on time. You know, right, right. with yeah. the perfect timing. You know, play the song <laughs> and then boom, here go the band strike up. And shout out to the band also. They've been on point from the run out. To, to, to the whole nine playing the different songs. I've heard different songs. Now, I've heard 
the band play some songs that I'm sure Coach Prime requested. Yeah. Shout out to Snoop Dogg and, and stuff. So, you know, that's something totally different than saying he tried to change everything up and how things are done, you know. <laughs> um, but, you know, shout out to all the people who make all these crazy articles out there. I appreciate you. Write something about me and Brian. Me and Brian don't like each other. We fighting. <laughs> Give us right. something like that. <laughs> Give us something like that. All Might right, as well, um, right? <laughs> right. Give us some clicks. 